the role of universities and the role of, uh, of tertiary educators is really important. I think it's, uh, I think that the, the cause of a lot of the problems we've been discussing is this, this siloed uh, approach to education. You're a doctor and you're a scientist and you're an economist and, and that's that. I think the universities have got a large role to play in trying to integrate uh, the, the thinking processes from the start instead of coming out with a degree and then trying to work with your colleagues, put an emphasis on that at the start. And maybe as someone who's inside a university, that's something that I can encourage in my friends and, and in, in other, other students. That's something that, that Jenny Pompey just brought up in, in, in our discussion was that, that there needs to be, she called them the three pillars, and, and one of the pillars is research. You have to know what's happening. You have to know, you have to know what your starting point is if you're going to be able to measure improvements. And, and that, that's, the situa that, that's the downfall of a lot of, particularly low-income countries that just can't afford to start, start the quantitative research and, and start to get a gauge of where they are. And, and the second pillar that she described was the sort of top-down uh, leadership approach where you have you know, government leaders or, or head of department or pe people in positions of power leading the charge. And then the third pillar was, was the, the grassroots, the sort of revolutionary uh, style of change, which comes from the, the, the people and the majority. So I think research certainly is, is crucial, but yeah, unless it's working with those other two factors, I definitely agree with her in saying that it's very difficult to change the status quo.